So we're now in one of our tank stores. Um, these tanks here each hold 46,000 litres and we can temperature control the fermentations in them. And obviously the fermentation is a critical part of cider making um, where we rely on the natural yeast to ferment the sugars to alcohol. Um, after fermentation, the cider is then wrapped, which means we're moving the cider off the dead yeast leaves that settled in the bottom of the tank, and then you have a nice, pure, um, still cloudy look at that point. Uh, and then we let the ciders mature for a minimum of three months. Some of our ciders, particularly the ones in the oak vat, which we'll walk up to right now, um, mature for at least six months. And we, the aging process in oak is very important for the uh, production of some of our ciders, in particular our, our vintage and our gold milk cider, which spends its entire life in oak vats. Some of these oak vats are over 100 years old, we have 18 on the farm. Um, these two here are 10,000 gallons, or roughly the same size as those tanks, about 46,000 litres. Um, a little bit of details about what's in this particular vat here. Um, each each vat has a number, FS28 this one is, as do the tanks. Um, each production we make, each, each autumn, has a progress number. Um, that's just the date it was wrapped, um, just as where it's moved from there. Also, it may also include the different varieties, which could have up to 10 different varieties in it. Um, so that's a little introduction to how we store our cider.